people, what is going on? Today, I am at the foot of the Main Street Bridge, but I'll tell you more about that later. And today, I will walk across the Main Street Bridge. I'm gonna try to do it in one take, no cuts other than my intro. And um, let's see if we can get through it. And I'll tell y'all a little history about the Main Street Bridge here in downtown Jacksonville, Florida. It's loud. You may be able to hear me, you may not, but let's do it right now. walking across the Main Street Bridge. I've probably done this maybe three times in my life. This will be the fourth. And um, it's a cool bridge. I'm going to tell y'all a little history about the bridge as I let y'all check the bridge out. Check out the landscape. Check out what's happening. It's always busy. It's a busy bridge unless it's a, uh oh, look, we got a lot going on out here. Y'all see? helicopter cars this is a busy downtown area very very busy downtown area but we're gonna walk across this bridge and check things out but let me um let me give you all a little history on this bridge here y'all see the the bank building on my left hand side the Hyatt over there on my right and the Jacksonville Landing used to be right there but it's gone now and we'll talk about that too but this bridge a lot of people don't know this but this is now in the city and the people that are actually they'll say it's the Main Street Bridge that's actually not true. This bridge is actually not called the Main Street Bridge, even though that's what we call it. This bridge is actually the John T. Alsop Jr. Bridge. Main Street Bridge, as they call it. It opened in 1941 here in Jacksonville, Florida. And it's named after a former mayor of the city. So the real name of it is John T. Alsop. You don't believe me? Check it out. But it opened up in 1941 to get everybody over to San Marco. And uh, I love this bridge, man. I wish they would keep it painted blue heavily, but I'm sure it costs a lot of money and a lot of time to keep this bridge painted blue. And uh, I done been across this bridge a gazillion times because, well, I just love the area. San Marco, I love downtown, I love, right. And uh, it's just a beautiful area. You can always see boats on the water coming through. And um, that right there is the Acosta Bridge next to it. That's the CXX building. If you work for CXX, you're making some paper. And there's another there's a boat coming under it. Now this bridge will go up when sailboats come through. And it will hold you up. So just know that. This bridge will go up when the big ships come through. This is a very low bridge. This bridge is not as high as the Dane's Point Bridge and the Matthews Bridge. But um, it's a good bridge though. How you doing today, sir? All right. So we're about halfway across it. Now this right here, this right here is an observation area. So anybody that want to walk across the bridge, you can stop here, take pictures and um do whatever it is you need to do and that right there was friendship fountain if y'all can see it that's friendship fountain right there and that used to be a cool place the people come relax chill out and um, i don't know what happened to it they roped it off let me see if y'all can see a little bit of it look get y'all a little closer at friendship fountain y'all see it i don't know what happened to it y'all they roped it off and Everybody been quiet about it. The city haven't broadcast nothing on the news about it. Now, as y'all can see, as I'm as I'm on the Main Street Bridge, y'all can see the Sky Rail. I did a video about riding on the Sky Rail 
on my YouTube channel. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out. I did a video about riding on the Sky Rail. And uh, I talked all about the Sky Rail and what's going on with that. So I got a lot of stuff about the city on my channel. Because I love my city, of course. But let's continue on. Let's soldier on. Now that right there, as y'all can see in the distance, that right there is the Heart Bridge right there, as y'all can see in the distance. So you can see a lot of bridges from this one bridge. They all align across the St. John's River. The only bridge that you probably can't see from here is the Danes Point Bridge. Because that's a little further, a little further up. But the rest of them you can see. The rest of them you can see. Now this little patch of grass over here that y'all looking at, that was once the Jacksonville Landing. An awesome place that everybody used to come to, man. It was a central location where you can hang out, chill. They had live events. They had concerts. And oh, speaking of concerts, let me tell you something else about this bridge. This bridge was shut down at one point because the rapper, Rick Ross, I'm sure y'all have heard of Rick Ross, but he bought Evander Holyfield's home in Georgia, the biggest, uh, uh, the, lar the largest single residential pool on earth. But he shut this bridge down and he shot a video in Jacksonville on this bridge uh, uh, a lot of years ago, but he definitely did. He came to Jacksonville shut this bridge down and shot a music video on this bridge so this bridge has been busy 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 main street bridge has been home to fireworks over the years it's been home to parades over the years so this is a very busy bridge as y'all can hear all the cars roaring through and this is another side of the river that you can walk on and enjoy but i miss it man i definitely miss the jacksonville landing it was an awesome spot that, I mean, everybody, it was a central location. I'm going to tell y'all, the problem with Jacksonville is that there's no central location. Every neighborhood is like its own city. And most people don't leave their own neighborhoods. Most people, they never leave their own neighborhood. They'll hang out in their neighborhood, they'll eat in their neighborhood, they have fun in their neighborhood, they'll go to school in their neighborhood. So nobody ever come to one central location. Like in Orlando, they have downtown Orlando, and it's the movie theater downtown and balls downtown here. It's a movie theater all over Jacksonville. There's balls all over Jacksonville. There's things to do all over Jacksonville if you know where to find it and if you're in the right neighborhood. If you're not in the right neighborhood, you'll never know what's going on. So the key is not to say that Jacksonville is boring. The key is for you to get in your car or get with your homeboys or homegirls and y'all get to drive and get to ride and y'all get to rolling and y'all can see what Jacksonville has to offer. Now, as y'all can see, this is Bay Street, Ocean Street, and Newman Street. Bay Street is can take you all the way down to the stadium and the Veterans Memorial Marina and all that good stuff right there. And this used to be the home this used to be the home of the Jacksonville Landing, but sadly the landing is gone. R.I.P. to the landing. Now used to be an awesome spot. So, I am here at the very end of the Main Street Bridge. I'm about to shoot a longer video about the entire city, so y'all make sure y'all subscribe and stay tuned for that. And thank y'all for watching. This place is a beautiful place to be if you know what's up. And hopefully the people that run the city don't run it into the ground give it terrible policies hopefully they keep it like it is keep it southern keep it right keep it ready for the next generation keep the place safe that's what we really got to do and um the main street bridge is a huge part of jacksonville and it was here before i was born i'm sure it'll be here when i'm gone and let's keep the rest of jacksonville historic bright awesome beautiful and um anybody that's moved here hey What's up? Anybody that was born and raised here like me, you already know. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Peace. And I'm going to send y'all away with none other than an American flag and a state of Florida flag. Also, Wells Fargo on the corner. <laughs>